Okay, so off the back of uh, last week, was it last week? A few weeks now, the Suicide Squad has been out. Yeah. We t- we talked about it. Was it last week? Yeah, it was last week. Yeah. Still yeah. The cinema and all um, that. Yeah. Yes, it's just, yeah, we both quite enjoyed it. Yeah. Uh, although, and the, the even though the, 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 like, the, the box office hasn't been great, those mm-hmm. who have seen it, like the fan score have said it's a very good film. Mm-hmm. And a real standout character from this movie is my favourite comedic actor of all time, and I stand by that, Mr. John Cena. Agreed, yeah. Um, so I, I would like to posit a question for you. Out of like the wrestlers who have like now taken their turn at like acting, I I'd say there's like there's like three main ones, right? It's like yeah. John Cena, The Rock, and Batista. Yep, pretty much. At at the end of their careers, who do you think will have had the best one? Um, I want to say in terms mm-hmm. of like money wise and biggest budget wise and all that the rock the rock has definitely yeah. had is he's got he's had the biggest best career i think rock, like... it's a hard one so i think john cena's like i was gonna say maybe john cena's like just behind him and in batista he isn't he's kind of in the same league but he isn't because no, I get you. but what i would have said for him is he's probably had the most fun with his films yeah and like, whereas John Cena now he's kind of pandered a lot to uh, China and all that, and so yeah, he's becoming a bit more like like worldwide nice marketed guy. But that's not to dispute like he has had some great roles. So like his roles, but Bumblebee, I, I don't know why, but I really like him in that film. I still haven't it's, seen it. It's, I still haven't seen it. He was he was pretty good in that. It's a decent film. It's not bad. It's, it's yeah. at the end of the day, Transformers. It's like yeah. you like you love it, or hate it, but well, you can take it or leave it. But yeah, uh, John Cena. He's been pretty good at everything. And the first film I think for John Cena though that I actually noticed him in was probably Fred, <laughs> which you is weird what? to say. <laughs> no, not <a> hundred. <laughs> he just shows up as himself, and yeah. I was like, why the hell? But he's the best part about that movie. Yeah. Cause he like fuck it, he like yeets his son through the <laughs> through the table. I think before that he was in like the Marine. That might have been yeah. his earliest film. That I, but that that no that's off. like a WWE movie though. Yeah, yeah, that's like the studio in it. Yeah. Where did I, he I, I can't think of where he hit his mark though. That's what I'm saying. He was just kind of, like I. Mm, uh, for me, uh, he, I remember like his first big, big role. I remember him being in was um, uh, was it Trainwreck? Is that what it's called? The the Amy Poehler one. Oh yeah. Um, and mm. I was like, this guy's pretty funny because LeBron's in it as well for some reason. Um, he's, he's got that good comedy act of it thing about him. Yeah, but it's just the way he acts, like. It's, it's it's very strange, I because like the whole film through Suicide Squad, I was like he's my favorite character, and then like <sighs> I don't like how his character progressed in the film. I'll say okay. that, yeah, yeah. Because I was like I want I wanted more of him, but which we're getting more of him. I because he's getting his own TV show, isn't he? Oh my god! Yeah, this is very true. I've just whipped out his IMDb. Yeah. Just like for the sake of he's been beasting it. He is currently the host of Total Wipeout. Oh yeah, yeah. I saw I saw that on like TikTok ages ago yeah. and there's like this really awkward clip and he's saying something and the girl's like it was like an innuendo but it really didn't land and it was just really cringy. Yeah. What a g- oh yeah, he's been doing bits. Uh blockers. He was, of course, Ferdinand in the Oscar award-winning nominated movie Ferdinand. Hey, he's done a lot of animated stuff as well, isn't he? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Surfs up two. Yeah, they they yeah. have a lot of the the WWE stars in that. Oh, this is my favorite one. If you look on his um, IMDb, 
one of his things for the WWE Network is uh, as John Cena slash Hugh can't see me. Oh wow! Ah, <laughs> oh, what a legend! The two damn cousins are watching movies. Hi everyone, welcome back to another week of Reinventing the Real. As always, ah. we're your hosts, Cameron and Curtis. And it's a pretty strange one. I'll let you all in into our world quickly because it's not a Tuesday, it's a Friday, the day before the episode comes out. It's a Friday evening, so it feels like it's like the night show, the night reel. <gasps> but for you, it could be like, it might be Saturday morning, like whenever you're watching this. But for us, it's like Cameron and Curtis on the podcast night. That's what I was gonna. Ah, <laughs> I was gonna do. I was gonna do the the two damn cousins. I watch a movies nights. <laughs> I I like I like our brain went the same way. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah. Yeah. How you been anyway? Yeah, you know what? I can't complain. I can't complain. Um, you know, grilling chicken. <laughs> uh, snapping their dead little bodies. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? How you been? Yeah, I'm alright. I've had a nice uh, week away. I was visiting. <gasps> a week away, you say? Oh, well, I can't think of any songs to go back to that. But I open up the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's it. Be together. Uh, that's that's a. That's that kiss and boo. Yeah. What? That's gonna bug me now. Uh, oh, oh! I thought I thought you were doing. Be together, the... be together. Yeah, I thought you were doing. <laughs> um, we're all in this together. No, 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 no. Oh, there's one in my head. I can I can hear it, but yeah. I can't get the words out for it. Who, who's who's singing it? Oh, it's like the whole thing. Oh, the whole. Oh, is it the? Is it the? Oh God! Is no, it good? wasn't that one. God, but that's gonna be rains. stuck in my head now. Because when I heard that, I was stuck in my head for ages. Oh, if you haven't watched our. Uh, oh commentary on that film head to our youtube channel where you invent the real we did a commentary yeah. on it. it it was a wild film we had a wild time but you're not here to hear about the commentaries you're here for the podcast two damn cousins watch your movies reinvent the real you already know what it is take your favorite films podcasts wait what take your favorite <laughs> films <laughs> movies i always do that tv shows games whatever and we change them should we just get into it? Cause Let's do it, man. I feel like I took this on too long. Don't even trip, man. Like, yeah, it's honestly, you you didn't. I I I spent like five minutes just cause so I could talk about John Cena. So. <laughs> it, was, it was supposed oh. to be about all of them, but Ooh. it went more to John Cena. Go on, what have we got? What have we got? Okay, the movie we got. Is the one I've been dreading the most. Oh boy. It's, it's like it's one of the first ones we put on the list, and I don't know why we put it there. I think I might have done it, or maybe you. But I was like, I've seen this movie once, and I, I thoroughly dislike it, oh. and I, I I dislike it even more because it's so liked by people. Yeah. It's it's Ladybird. We got Ladybird. Oh, you know what? I thought I thought you was gonna say Ladybird when you said you didn't like it. Yeah. I don't. I just I was indifferent to it. Yeah, and this is gonna be a hard one because I do not know what we're gonna do with this. Yeah, no, neither do I. I've got the the basic skeleton of it down. Yeah. So we can just yeah, kind of fill in the gaps. Yeah. Yeah. Let me spin the wheel. <laughs> oh, it didn't spin. Oh, here we go. Has to have a random musical number. Yeah. Okay. Easy. Attempt to start a franchise. That's also kind of... Yeah, that helps yeah. out a little bit. That goes with the idea I was thinking in my head. And, and, and... Directors have to have a cameo. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. That's that's very doable. Yeah. All right, quick, hit me with, hit me with your idea. What are you thinking? Sequelitis. It's just gonna be a sequel. I mean, there's not. This is a hard movie to like follow on with. It's like because if you've seen Lady Bird, if you haven't seen it, I'll give you a quick rundown of what it's about. It's like a coming of age film about a girl who's like she's in high school. She's just like looking at applying to colleges. Her family's like really poor. And like, her just like goes between with the relationship between her and her mom, and ugh, I don't even know. It's if you've seen any A twenty four films, it's very A twenty four. It's very yeah. It's so aggressively A twenty four. Yeah, but I guess it's good for coming of age. I think it, personally, I think there's a lot better coming of age films. Mm. But I guess this one was original. It it didn't a lot a lot of the good coming of age films were based off a book, whereas this one's like it's an original concept and all that. But yeah, um, I I will say since there's a spoil uh, a sequel, there will be spoilers in this. So if you haven't seen it, go watch the film if you want to watch it. If you don't care, carry on listening. So how the film ended she went to college right and she was like learning to live there sort of thing like being with new groups and even though she was like i don't care about my family i can't wait to get out of this town i'm pretty sure like did the film end on her calling her mom i think so i generally i i seriously i watched it like once when it came out and i was like yeah maybe not for me yeah i i watched it like I remember wanting to watch it so much. I've, I think I watched it a couple of times actually, but not like to completion. Like I watched the start of it and then never got around until like a year or two ago. It would have been a year ago, early like February time. It's just before the pandemic hit, and uh, yeah, I've, I watched it till then. It was fine. So yeah, I guess with my idea. Sequel, her in college, maybe. Uh, or maybe she doesn't stay in college. Who knows? Uh, f- more family life. See how her family's getting on. Yeah, have you got any ideas? Um, yeah, I feel like it's just got to be like a... Like, yeah, very samey-esque, you know? Yeah. But then, mm. like, her little friend. D- did she end up at the same uni as her? No, I think they went their separate ways. Yeah. That little fr- is what's her name? It's Jonah Hill's sister. That's his sister. No yeah. way. Damn. Uh, like when you know, know it and you and you look at her, you go, "Oh yeah, I kind of I see it." I kind of see it. Yeah. Yeah. Gravy. Um. Yeah. No. Uh. Sorry. Where, where, where were we? Yeah. So uh, it, it's a it's a real like extremely goofy movie esque, like ha- oh navigating college. Yeah. Um, okay. I say, let's just jump into it. Let's do this. Yeah. Right. I will I will say, though, just quickly, this is very much my wheelhouse. I like doing these sort of things. But yeah. the only thing is, the source material doesn't fully appeal, appeal to me as much as other ones. But I yeah, will no, piggyback off of everything. But you take it away. Sorry. Go for it. No, no. I, I, yeah, no, I agree. I think, to me, I, I very much go off, like, the a schlocky 80s B movie kind of energy you know yeah. like that's very much my wheelhouse yeah. like the like the mad max fruitcake day episode of, <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> okay um so <clears throat> a title card pops up and it says full and it's like really like stylized yeah, there, yeah. there's like leaves in the corner of it maybe i i'm i'm thinking a real like 500 days of summer esque kind of kind of you know that kind yeah, of yeah um so so we're like okay let's do this so it says full and uh you so we see two sets of feet so it's like intercut between these two sets so there's like one woman like walking through hallway a hallway but you can't really see her feet no you can't see her face you can just see her feet like in high heels yeah and they're like like across the floor intercut with 
you see like a, a frantic like little a smaller pair of feet like running around darting in and out of people yeah and it just keeps cutting and juxtaposing the two of them right and then uh it, it and then uh then it shows both of them on screen at the same time like split screen yeah mm-hmm. and they both turn and then like the the divide between the two shots like goes away and it's like one shot and they're both there um and she and you see it's ladybird our protagonist yeah and she like cuts in front of the woman she's like sorry i can't be late on my first day and like hops through the this like hallway or wherever it was she was going to yeah he just about makes it into the class but like as she does so she sneaks in the like the back and then she closes the door and it makes like a huge banging sound oh God. and everyone like looks up at the top of the lecture theater <laughs> And the the lecturer goes, I'm so glad you could finally join us, miss. <laughs> and she goes, uh, la- la- Ladybird, sorry, my name is Ladybird. And like, you hear a few people just go, seriously? <laughs> it's so late. It's like, you know, some yeah. real schlock like that. And he's like, okay, Miss Ladybird, would you like to just, just hurry up and take a seat? Or is there <laughs> any other way you want to disrupt my lesson? And everyone's just like, oh. And she's like, no, I'll, I'll, I'll sit down. And she, like, goes to sit next to someone. And she's like, hey, is this seat taken? And, like, everyone does, like, but no, nah, you ain't sitting here, you freak. Um, and she, so she manages to find a seat just, like, right at the back. And she sits down. Uh, no, right at the front, sorry. Because she's at the, at the back of the fit and works her way down. Mm. And she sits down at the front and like whips out all her stuff. So the so the lecturer is trying to like carry on, and you can just hear her like rattling around with her pens and everything. Yeah, and he just gives her like dirty looks every now and again. And the guy's like, you know, welcome to uh, w- what class is it? Like like literature or something like that? Or... Yeah, I think so. That sounds about right. Yeah, because like you can know literature is is the perfect subject for the protagonist to study because. Yeah. You can always draw parallels of from whatever book they're reading, you know. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um. So he's like, you know, welcome to Lit One Hundred and One. Blah 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 blah. Uh, we're gonna be going through whatever book it is. Oh, uh, give me a book. Uh, the Wind in the Willows. Nice. We're gonna be going through the Wind in the Willows this, <laughs> this semester. Uh, you know, uh, 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 this is a very strict class. Uh, I don't play around. You know, we don't play around in here. <laughs> uh, I'm not even like your, like, like the main convener. I'm just the TA for this class. Yeah. So maybe he's like a little bit younger than most of them, but he he he. So he's like like mid mid to late twenties, but he's kind of like bookishly handsome. You know. Uh, stubble maybe starting to grey in the temples a little bit yeah um this is really descriptive Let me <laughs> um so he's like yeah um uh, you know I, I'm not even not, like the head of the class and then someone goes wait so who is and you just hear the door open and she goes me okay I sounded more dramatic than I meant <laughs> um, but <laughs> it's, it's the it's the woman that she cut off earlier ah uh. And she just comes down and she's like, you know, I I, I like to, to make an entrance. You know, it's, it's, what can I say? I, I have, a, I have a, a flair for the dramatic. And as she goes past Ladybird, she like locks eyes with her and just shoots her a dirty look. Oh. She, she just like hides her face. And she's just like, you know, it looks like we've got some, 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 some nice young minds here to, to meld. I, I get her. Uh, so, but don't get it twisted. This isn't an easy class by any means, by anything. Um, if you, you know, we'll be having tests once a month, and uh, the, the 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 bottom five lowest scoring people will be kicked from this course. No ifs, no ands, no buts. Mm-hmm. And Lady Bird's just like, oh shit! All right, let me let me get my let me get my ma right. Um, <laughs> and she goes to get up because it's the end of class. And the teacher woman is like, "Hey, uh, excuse me, young lady. What was? What did you say your name was?" 
and she's like, oh, oh late, ladybird, miss. And she's like, oh, are you, are you always this late to class? Or is it, you know, only when you're being rude to, to your elders? And she's like, oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I just, you know, sorry. My, there was this whole thing and the, she goes, starts going off about it. And she, and she, she, she's like, I don't care. Just try to be on time, please. And she just looks defeated. She, she's like, you know, I've messed up my first like, big class. You know, how am I going to become a writer or whatever it was she wanted to be? I don't know. Um, and then what happens, Gamma? So she's going out of the class. She's like, oh, God damn it. You know, it's like you think someone might come over and like console her or something like a friend. It's just no. She's like sees groups and they all like walk off and she's like she's all alone in New York, this big city, in this new like university and all that new environment. It's she's got everything she's wanted, but she's never felt more alone. Alone. It's hard. And so. Her best friend right now is her mom, and she like throughout. I get maybe throughout the film they're always talking. She's always got her mom to like lean on. And it's like she she's got her own problems too, but she's always trying to make time for a door and all that because like I don't know. Maybe you see like there's a story told whenever they're on the phone. It's like the mom's always like trying to do like. Is trying to do something. Mm-hmm. What that might be, I don't know. Uh, what, what could she be up to? Like that progressing, it could be wrapped up, like within this short window. Uh, maybe she's like knitting or something. Yeah, but it has to have more weight, I think. Like uh, maybe she's knitting. A sorry, sorry, you you've got. <laughs> what? If, okay. What if they're like? She's trying to sort out the bills for the house, and then, like, she's, uh, they're trying to take away the house, because she hasn't got much money for it or something. Okay. And, like, so every time she's on the phone, she's trying to deal with this, uh, thing, like, while she's on the phone, and it's like, oh, now's not a good time, I'm with, like, blah, 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 you know, uh, the bank trying to get an extension or the loan or something. And Lady Bird's like, oh, I, I've had a really bad day and stuff. It's like, she's not really... It's She cares, but, like, she's not really putting it out there. And us as the audience, we can see that, like, all the mom's going through all this hardship, but yet Lady Bird hasn't bothered to ask and, like, say... And it wouldn't be till the last phone call when she does or something. Little okay. look forward there. Yeah, yeah. I'm putting it out there though, so I don't forget. <laughs> so anyway, she calls her up. And she's like, "Oh, mom, I had like the worst first day. I was late, you know. But I was made a big entrance, and I've already, I'm already like they already know my name. I everybody knows it." And she's like, "Oh, that's good, isn't it? You want to be put out there?" She's like, "No, it's, this is horrible. This is." not this isn't what I want. She's like, but I thought this was what you wanted, you know, have your new name and put it all out there, start your new life all in New York. She's like, oh, what? It's just, it's not what I thought. And I was like, oh, sometimes life just doesn't go the way you think. She's like, look, I gotta go. I've just got to finish off what I'm doing. She's like, yeah, that's fine. No worries. So like, she goes back to her, I don't know, is she in a flat or a dorm? I don't know. I don't know if that was ever convened. Uh, let's say she's just like she has a flat with like three other people, mm-hmm. and they're like not really her people, and they maybe they all know each other from like a previous time, and they're like not really including her, and so like they're all laughing and joking in the front room. She goes in, and like they don't even notice her, and she just goes straight to her room. Just starts reading the book, and like maybe she gets a text pop up, and it's from her friend in like from the first film, and she's at her uni, and she's at like sends a pic and like ah oh, fitting in so well, hope you're doing well, blah 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 all that, and she's like she wants to try and fake it and show that she's having an amazing time when in reality she's 
she's not and she's very homesick so i don't know maybe she like there's this whole like scene of her trying to putting on the lights behind her and her putting on makeup and she's like oh just at a crazy party or whatever yeah and yeah just a i guess that might be a funny scene for the audience or something and so she's after that she just like slumps down on the bed and then like her friends come in well not her friends her housemates and they're like oh yeah, ladybird we're going to a party it's like they'll wait up yeah and she's like oh party where's that and she's like oh if you must know it's at the one of the frat houses or are you, i mean you can come if you want you know you probably won't know anyone there but i guess you might like get to know people and she's like oh i don't know i think i might just leave it and they're like oh well your loss and then she's the they're about to walk out and she's like you know what i think i will go and she gets ready she, i mean she's already half ready because of what she just did and they go all together you know she's like kind of hanging back and she's different they're all laughing and joking in front and she gets there it's like it's all crazy environment and stuff and like Someone just like she walks in and someone's like, Hey, who are you? And she's like, oh, Ladybird. And she's like, Oh, you were in my class or whatever. Here, have this. And just gives them a drink and they just walk off. You never see that person okay. again. Whatever. And so, like, she's like, Whatever, I'll drink this. Starts drinking. Drinks more and more and more. And then she just, she's out of it. And Ooh. she's just like, She's being more social though. So, like, I don't know. There's like this couple who are arguing, let's say. And she goes up to them and she's like, Oh, hey, how are you doing? What do you do, you know? And they're like, uh, Now's not really a good time. And she's like, Yeah, my name's Ladybird. I do <laughs> uh, literature and I just came here from whatever town she lived in before. She's like, Yeah, I'm not having a great time, but it is what it is. And they're like, That's great. Thanks. She's like, So are you two together? And they're like, they just look at each other like maybe not for much longer and like the girl says that only and the boy's like oh crap and she's like ah oh, damn well see yeah, life's too short you shouldn't like throw these things away you know you've probably got something worth fighting for and then the girl's like you cheated on me with my best friend and she's like oh all right fair enough <laughs> I'll leave you to it <laughs> and just like walks away and she maybe like bumps into someone and it's like who could it be what kind of character archetype should we put this against uh, I... like a guy maybe yeah I had two in my head I had like a a guy as you said or like a really like snobby girl mm -hmm. but we'll go for the guy we'll go for the guy and, and she bumps into him and he's like watch it stupid chick what do you think you're doing you're so drunk look at you and she's like excuse me what don't talk to me like that who do you think you are and he's like whatever Just move away from me and she's like well i, I want an apology and he's like but you should apologize to me you bumped into me like who do you think you are come say say you want an apology in that and then, like one of her housemates come over and she's like oh ladybird you is everything all right here and she's like no and he's like ladybird what kind of a name is that and she's just like she slaps him screw it hits him and everybody sees this oh they're like oh she just slapped doug jeter oh my god and like he's about he's to like, like doug jeter. <laughs> yeah <laughs> nice I like that name. <laughs> and he's like he's about to like go off at her and one of his mates is like nah no we don't do that no and he's like you're all right like look you better get out of here all right this is our dorm room you know we don't want you doing that and he's like fine she's like yeah whatever i'll go i'll go and like her housemate's like, oh, I'm not with her. You know, I just know her from my class. Sorry, I'll be all right. So she walks out. And then the guy who, like, stopped him from, like, 
just beating her up pretty much comes out and he's like oh hey uh sorry about uh doug over there you know he, he he's really full of himself she's like yeah i could see that and he's, she's like i don't even know where i am like i need to get home and he's like oh maybe i can help you know and then what happens okay so she's still like quite drunk right yeah yeah she's like um yeah like i don't know and he's like you know what no he's like you're clearly drunk he's like it's fine he's like where do you live can i walk you Hmm. so they start walking and talking and he's like you know how did you get into wanting to do english lit and all that and she's like oh you know it's just i don't know i feel like it's it's a like but when people talk with words and stuff (laughs) it really just makes me feel a kind of way and he was like, oh, yeah, I can tell by how great you are at speaking. And she was like, shut up, I'm drunk. <laughs> and she's like, what about you? What's your excuse? She's like, why do you take douchery at Brobag University or wherever the hell you do? No. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I actually do mechanical engineering. And she's like, oh, sh- what? And he's like, yeah, you know, my dad uh, wanted me to get into uh, <laughs> wanted me to get into Duke, you know. He went to Duke. His dad went to Duke. Yeah. I guess I'm kind of just like the family disappointment. Jesus. And she's like, he then like he like breaks down, and she's like, oh hey man. Um, and just like kind of pats him like real awkward like you know. Yeah. And she's like, it's 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 all it's all it's all good, man. And, like, he, like, looks up and, like, goes, oh, you do care about me. And, like, tries to kiss her. And she's like, whoa, that's, whoa, no come good. on now. No, no. <laughs> nah. No, I, I was just, be- I was just being, and she's like, he's like, yeah, no, no. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and then they go, she's like, friends? And puts her hand out and he's like, he goes, okay. Yeah, yeah, friends. Fair enough. Good and stuff. they shake hands. And then it cuts to, like, a montage of her like at school and waking up so like she's waking up late at the beginning of the montage yeah and like struggling to get her shit together and then she like messages uh what was his name Van- vance chuck back or what was <laughs> the other guy's name was uh doug g oh, I, I didn't get i didn't get his his name oh. you, can, you can call him vance if you want no that's that's, that's a real prick name um Lexus. Yeah. Lex. Lex. Screw it. Lex. Yeah. Uh. So like she gets a text from Lex and she's like ah oh, ha 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 and all that and then it like cuts to them like like hanging out together and just you know goofing off doing work and then um and then he's like hey no come on we have to revise but like all this little montage is happening. To, like, yeah. over the, over like a song uh I, I i i don't really know what song you know maybe like a current indie like hit a, yeah you know like a in your current baby because you know what you will <laughs> oh, you your friend like chocolate it's uncanny how well i do that <laughs> um so it's, you know it's like that and then by the end of the montage she's like like the alarm's going off and she's like closing the door to leave the house. Yeah. And as she closes the door, like it, it cuts to black because, you know, duh. Yeah. And she sits down in the seat to do a test. She's like, I'm so ready for this. And like she looks at the message from um, Lex and he's like, you got this. And she's like, all right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Um, and b- But before she goes in, she like calls her mom and she's like, hey, I just want to let you know, you know, like I'm, I'm panicking a little bit, but I feel like I've really got this. And the mum's like, "Oh, what? Um, yeah, yeah, cool." But like, the, the mum's quite distant. Yeah. But she's still like that, and she's like, "Oh, okay, um, yeah, you know, all the best, you know, make good choices, blah, blah, blah." Um, and you just hear a guy in the back, and he's like, "Um, oh, so well, what about this room?" And then she's like, "Okay, I'll see you later, honey. Bye." Oh. Um. And she's just like, what the hell was that? You know, like, what's, what's, okay, cool, whatever. I haven't got time to think like that. I have to focus on the, on my test. 
and she sits down to do it and she uh, like she starts um writing and she's like oh, i've got this i'm feeling so creative and you can like see her like her her, her like in a in a thoughts yeah and you see them like very focused on the book and then um lex comes into the thoughts and they all start swirling together and then she like snaps awake at the end of this dream and it's the ta and he's just like slams his book on the table he's like the time is up oh and she's like what she says no 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 no. i, I was i'm and she's like sorry time is up and like she goes away and she's like shitting it. She's like, oh my god, I do. What if I fail? What if I blah 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 blah? And Lex's like, calm down, you've got this. Don't worry, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Wait, is Lex the one who had the girlfriend at the party? Or, no, was that? that was just a that... offshoot yeah. couple. Okay, cool. I thought it was. I just, I just, I wasn't a hundred percent. Yeah, my short term memory is atrocious. Um. So um, he uh, where are they? Are they together? Not like together, together, just like chilling out together. Yeah. And she's like, yeah. She's like, what if I fail? What if? I... And he's like, stay calm. He's like, you're gonna be great. You've got this. Don't, don't trip. Everything's gonna be a one. And then like she gets the <clears throat> notification. She's like, oh my god, they they dropped it. And she's like looking down the list for her name. And he's like, where is it? Where is it? And you see like her, like like the camera, like like pans down the the thing, and yeah. there it is. Like the, the top name in red. She was like one mark away from from getting a thing. Ugh. And she just you just see it don't you just break her. And she's like, so so is this it? Is is like what do I do now? You know, I got here on my writing scholarship. I can't afford to. You know. Yeah. Uh, and he's like, you know, it's not the end of the world. You could do other things. You could get a job. You could, you know. Mm. really start, really apply yourself and she's like you know dude, no, that's not what I want to do I need to be a writer I, I, I need to be a writer yeah Um, and he's like well you don't need a degree for that you know mm. just go out and write and she's like no this, I, no no and she just like runs away oh. and he's like what are you do ladybird ladybird come back <laughs> ladybird <laughs> And then what happens? She's free and she's running to like another indie song. Mm hmm. And um, she's got like no problems or like no thoughts in her head. Mm. She's just going and going. And like, I don't know, she just ends up like in a park or something. And like, she sees all these different types of people walking about her. Like, there's like a person like a mum with like three kids or something just struggling to keep up with them and then there's like an old lady just sitting on the bench feeding the pigeons or whatever and there's like a lady who's like fully like she's a businesswoman and all that and she's looks like she's doing well for herself and all that kind of stuff and then like it's kind of just flashing through like this is what it could be sort of thing and she's like, oh, she's just, it's all overwhelming her. And then she gets like a call. And she's like, oh, it's, it's her, it's her mum. And she's like, oh, hey, mum. She's like, oh, how are you doing? How did it go with the test? And she's just like, she doesn't really have the heart to tell her. She's like, yeah, it, it went, it went pretty well. And she's like, oh, that's great. It's great news. I needed that today. I needed, I just needed some good news. Anyway, I just thought I'd catch up with you I've, I've got to get back now you know and she's like oh how's things and she's like, oh no I, i've got to go to, so, see you later bye and so the first time she's actually asked how things are but she couldn't her mom didn't want to answer because she didn't want to burden her and it yeah. like switches to the mom perspective and she's just like a size and she's like it's like packing up the last box actually maybe she's like well this is it to like the husband he's like yep We've had this house for so long, but I guess now that Ladybird's not here, we can move into a smaller place and it might just, you know, work out better for us. So then they're like, moving out, get into the car, and it's like, 
the mom like switches on the radio and it's like the same thing they were listening to at the start of the first movie and she's like yeah. oh, i miss ladybird can we like go up and see her at some point she they're like oh, oh i don't know we like the move and stuff it's like we might not have enough money for it and stuff and she's like yeah you're right i'll just i'll just wait until she's back at like whenever christmas or whatever time frame this is in and then so they're just driving off down the road and then like it's like split between them maybe between ladybird and the mom and dad the mom's like face she's quite distraught ladybird's quite distraught she's like oh what am i supposed to do this is the end of the world in reality it's not oh go on i was just gonna say is is this where we introduce our musical number oh you know what i forgot could, about that we could, we could do like a like a like a split screen kind of they're both like anxious about something but they can't let the other one yeah know. yeah do you know what i mean you know Def- what yeah so this is it this yeah. is us this is where we're gonna be <laughs> all that kind of thing <laughs> i don't know i don't know if i got the will in me to make a whole musical number yeah we're not British. the same young-eyed bushy boys is that the same oh. this isn't like I, I i'd do a musical one again don't worry don't like it, i think it will make a return a full no. musical but a real great showman yeah this of. isn't the uh isn't the kind of musical i am but just just know that the musical in this is like it's very hardship and it's the end of the world new beginnings what are we gonna where to next who knows what's going to happen with the next chapter you know so anyway ladybird goes back home into her apartment and like her, her mate what was his name again uh um val lex lex that's it lex? yeah and he's just like chilling with her housemates and all that and like getting on like really well with them better than she got on with them and all that and he's like, oh, why have you never, like, introduced me to these guys? Like, they're great. And she's like, yeah, well, <laughs> it is what it is, you know? She just goes into her room, and he's like, we better follow her. And she, they're like, oh, bye, see you later. <laughs> they, they kind of have a crush on him, whatever. Yeah. And so he goes in after her, and he's like, hey, w- what happened there? Like, where'd you go? She's like, oh, I just need to clear my, my head. Like, I just need to get out. I just need to. I need to figure out where to next, you know. I, I I thought this would be it, but I don't know if it is. I don't know if I don't want to keep moving on though and just going in and out of things and just not finding myself because this was supposed to be where I found myself, but so far everything's just gone wrong. And then he's like, I, I can't, I, you know, I can't really say much to that. You know, I mean, if it's like anything, my dad. He put a big strain on me getting into this one place, and when I told him it wasn't what I wanted to do, and he, we lost contact after that. He's like, "Oh, funny." I was kind of like that with my mom back in high school. She, he's like, "Yeah, well, sometimes I wish we can speak loads." I guess you got that going for you. You got a good relationship with your mother. He's like, "She's like, yeah, I guess so." And she just starts thinking about it. And she's like, maybe I should move back home. Like, help yeah. mom, get a job. You know, make sure everything goes well with us. Like, you know, she's like, she knew there was a bit of money troubles in that. But could this be the answer for her? And then, I don't know. Hmm. I have a direction I want to take this, but I feel like it will ruin it. Right, t- tell me the direction you want to take it. We'll see if we can work it out. I want her. I so. I I want a bunch of people to come into the house now, right? Okay. Like they just throw a party out of nowhere, like the housemate not telling her, and she's like, goes in like, why have you done that? Like you didn't tell me. They're like, oh, relax, is, it's is fine. This like childhood house or like... no? In the in the uh, uni yeah, one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And she's not happy about it, but it's whatever. It still goes on. And then, like, because of she's a bit had a bad day, she drinks, she mingles, meets some guy, who's like, "Oh yeah, I was the same, you know, haven't had like 
didn't know what I was doing, but I got the, the, this good job. And he's like, oh yeah, well, she's like, oh, well, what's that doing? And she's like, oh, give me your number and I'll, sh and I'll, I'll show you. He's like, all right, whatever. So a few days pass, the guy calls her up. He's like, oh yeah, I got to come up on that job if you, um, if you're still interested. And she's like, oh yeah, I think I'm going to need it. She, he's like, right. he gives her an address. She goes to it and it's like this warehouse, right? And she's like, hmm, strange, whatever. And he's like, comes out the door. He's like, oh, ladybird, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. She's, they're like, yeah, come in, come in. Oh, right, uh, we'll lay down what's happening with the job. And he's like, oh, can you drive by any chance? She's like, uh. Oh, fucking hell, all right. <laughs> he's like, uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, I... did she pass in the first movie, I think? I can't I remember. Think so. Some, there was something about driving in the first movie. But yeah, mm. let's say she can drive anyway. She's like, yeah, I can drive. And he's like, ah, oh, cool, cool. All right, no worries, no worries. And so they go in, there's like a bunch of people there. And they're like, well, who's the girl? And he's like, don't worry, I, I can trust her. I can vouch for her. I think she'll be she'll be all right. And they're like, right, well, we're going to hit the bank on West Street. And she's like, sorry? And they're like, yeah. Did he not tell you? We're going to rob a bank. And this is when our director cameos come in. And we're like a part of the heist crew. <laughs> nice. And uh, and so she's like, she, she pulls the guy to the side and he's, he's like, oh, I, did, I didn't want to like do anything illegal. And she's like, they're like, nah, don't worry, don't worry. This is the best way you're going to make money. Trust me. Like no one's going to take you on. Nobody wants like a broke college student with no money and no experience like this is the only way you're going to be able to make money and she's like and then he's like Look, if you don't go ahead with it like i'm gonna have to like do something about this because you know now and that makes you liable she's like oh, fine shit. i'll do it whatever and so like they go through like the job the prep and all that like one of us go oh you get you might need this kid uh, I don't know if you know how to use a gun, but here are. What the hell? Gives her a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I wanted to take you here, but screw it. And I'm running Ooh. through it fast as well. So, I um. An interesting idea, but. We'll keep it going, we'll keep it going. Okay, so, like, they get in, they get in the, a van or something. She pulls up to the bank, and they're like, alright, just uh, leave out here. We'll be 10 minutes max, or whatever. And she's like really nervous. She's like proper jittery. You can see her like shaking, like her knees bouncing and all that. Maybe they told her like don't answer the phone to anyone or anything. Like could be tracked or whatever. But her mum calls her. And rings. She lets it go. Calls her again. Rings. Lets it go. And she's like she really wants to pick it up. But like can't. And it does it a third time. She does it. And she's like mum this isn't a good time. Like I'm in the middle of something. She's like oh uh, sorry I just thought I just wanted to talk to you like we've uh, made some big changes and you know i wasn't able to tell you fully but uh yeah oh my god i just had thought of something as well okay yeah cool. so uh it will come to it it'll come to it she's like yeah we've uh, we've moved we've moved and stuff and she's like what you've moved like you moved out of the house without telling me like why wouldn't you tell me this he's like don't worry don't worry it's like it's kind of close to where we were but it's also sort of close to you and don't worry like if you said you weren't uh, able to talk. She's like, no, I want to talk about this now. That's just when, like, the crew comes out of the bank. They're all right, all right, load up the back. Like, go, go. And she's like, the mom's like, what's going on? She's like, don't, don't worry, I'll speak to you later. And then bite goes off. The car goes off, speeding down. The police are behind her. And it just, like, cuts to the mom. She's like, what the hell? And... The dad's like, oh, I'm sure it's all fine. Don't worry. And she's like, oh, I'm just going to pop out to the shops then. All right, I, uh, I need to, uh, like, I'm going to need some tea and biscuits. Who knows? Let's go with that. Just so yeah. I can speak to her. Like, it just reminds me of her or whatever. She, she goes off. She goes out. And uh, cuts back to Ladybird. She's driving down. Everyone's like, whoa, this film's took a really weird turn, but whatever. 
and like maybe one of us is shooting out the window at the police behind or something and we're like oh this is a mad score we've done well you did good kid to get us this far as well driving like a it was all a dream or like a story or something she'd written no no so then she's like driving down and then there's like it's getting like really harder to go through she's dodging through traffic and stuff and then everyone's like all right Go at the home stretch, kid. Don't flake on us now. Come on, you got this. She's like, shut up, shut up. Everybody just calm down. And the, then, like, maybe an argument breaks out. And then, BAM! She gets something. She stops dead in her tracks. And then everyone's like, what are you doing? Get out. She's like, no, no, I just hit someone. I just hit someone. I need to get out. It's like, no, I swear to God, if you get out, we're leaving you behind. And she's like, I, I can't do this. I need to get out. And she's like, gets out of the car they're like forget the girl let's go and what like she okay. gets out of the car she runs out the van speed speeds off she looks she's like oh my god i'm so sorry you're all right she looks at it it's her mom <gasps> no oh my god <laughs> and she's like oh my god mom no what the hell is she? and she's like her mom's out of it she's that she's not aware that that's ladybird and uh, and yeah, all the police, like, swarm them. And then it just dips to black. And it comes back up again. And the mum's, like, on a hospital bed. The dad's, like, by the side. Like, he's, like, falling asleep or something. And Ladybird just walks in. Like, a police officer's just standing behind her. And, he, and he's, like, I'll wait outside. And she just breaks down with her mum like in front of her and she's like I'm so sorry and like her dad's like well why are you sorry because like they're they're still unaware the mum's still like kind of she's the mum just maybe comes up actually when Ladybird comes in she's like oh Ladybird I'm so happy to see you he's like oh I'm so sorry I didn't tell you about the house and stuff and she's like no don't worry about that don't worry she's like oh I don't they're like Oh, we don't know if you're gonna walk again and all that. You're, you're lucky to come out of it and all that. And oh my god! She, Lady was just like, "I'm so sorry, mom. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to." And she's like, "Why are you sorry? You, like, it's not your fault, Lady Bird." Just like, and she she wants to tell her. She, you know, it's eating off her, but like, she also doesn't want to as well. Yeah, I like. And I'm gonna, mother. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to leave it at she doesn't tell her because yeah. Frank going to start a franchise, so the next film would be dealing with her dealing with that maybe, but yeah, I She's guess like... um, in the meantime, they know she's going to get taken away and they're like, oh, why are you going, uh, why are you going to prison or something? And she's like, oh, um, I got into, I got too drunk at uni and I got into a fight. Yeah. (laughs) And it escalated, and yeah, I hurt someone real bad. And yeah, I don't know how I'm going to live with myself for doing that. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. She's like, oh, I hurt someone real bad. And she's like, oh, was it, did you know this person? Were you like close with her? And she like starts welling up with tears. Yeah. Yeah. And she's like, I just don't know how she'll ever forgive me. And the mum looks back at her, and she's just like, well, you know, when you love someone, you know, like, you, 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 like, you know, you never really hate them, like, 100%. Yeah. Not really. Ugh. And that's when Lady Bird breaks down, and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And then Double the... entendre! Yeah, and then the police right, come in, and they're like, alright, time's up, you gotta go. And then the mom's like, I always love you, Christine. Because I think that was her <sighs> real name. And she's like, I'll see you soon. And then that's when the title card just comes up. And that's the sequel to Ladybird. Unless you have anything to add or No, no, it was beautiful, it was perfect. I had I had like a, a rough idea of an ending, but that was so much better. I I didn't know like if that would have worked. But in my head for some reason so once you sang the nineteen seventy fives I wanted to like, you know how the the song Robbers yeah. I wanted it to kind of like maybe end with something on the side of that. And then I was like, you know what? Let's 
let's see how far we can take this. Because it's like, you nice. kind of set up the whole, like, oh, she's, what's she going to do now sort of thing. And I thought, hey, why not? Why not put her in this situation? I kind of did rush through it, but it was a rough idea, and I didn't know if we were going to stick with it, but I no, went no, all no, the I, way. I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> so... My idea was, was, was trash compared to that. My idea was, like, a, like she has a falling out with the mum and that. Yeah. Uh, and then they reconcile. But then she finds out that the, uh, the girl who, like, she was one point off on the thing, like, cheated or something. Oh. So her spot opened back up. Mm. But then she was like, I don't know what to do. Like, she's having, like, a, a talk with her dad because, like, you don't really see the dad. No, so that... he's the emotional core. That's good. That is good because I... that could fit in just before, like the job so like oh, when she's going to so it she gets it back in and loses it all yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 okay yeah so the reason she's so upset about the party is because she was like i've got my first day tomorrow again i can't mess it up i can't yeah. lose this do not throw away your shot <laughs> yeah literally and then she, oh okay 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 but so at the beginning of the film we see her writing poetry or whatever it is yeah or like you hear her reading poetry yeah. And writing it, yeah. And then the end of the movie is her sat in her prison cell writing the same, like, form of poetry. And it's something to do with, like, the symbolism of, like, birds being free and trapped yeah. in cages and blah, 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 blah. Now she's a jailbird. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah. I was, I was, it, was decent, it came to a decent conclusion. I will say yeah. that we were unsure with what, where we wanted to take it and stuff, but we got there in the end. Picking up steams, we're approaching the hill. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies I, and gentlemen, I want, to, I want to do a sequel to this. Yeah, we can. We need to start a franchise, so why not? Why not? We'll keep That's it good. open. So, ladies All and right. gentlemen, if you like that, you know, go follow us on. All our social medias is at Reinvent the Real or That Real Pod. And as always, I've been Cameron. And I have been. Oh, wait, wait. Before oh. I, I say, di- I have one more thing. I just had an idea oh, for a possible for episode type. And I want to share it with the people. I want to see what they think. I'll go for it, yeah. Just so Leave we can open. get any feedback or anything. What if maybe we go back and we have an episode? Like, every, like oh, I'm talking like a once every like 25 or something like that. So something real rare. Yeah, and we sit down and we rattle through like three or four episodes that we've done, and yeah. we do like a director's cut, and we have to change the ending for Ooh, it. Oh, I like that. So we have that. to keep everything else, but we have to change like the last act of the movie and where the characters end up. Yeah, okay. And we yeah. have we have like a randomizer wheel just for that. Ooh, okay, yeah. And we yeah. like we can rattle off like three an episode or something like that. I have to write that down and let yeah. us know what you think as well. Yeah, at home. But yeah, sorry, sorry to do like a production meeting. Nah, nah, it's all good. I thought, I, I thought I'd let I'd, I'd let the the people at home know, see if yeah. they, maybe they'd be interested. But yeah, sorry, like you were saying, been Cameron, and I have been Curtis. See you next week, man. See you next week. <laughs>